Are you an unpublished comic creator with a great idea for a story? All you need is a way to support yourself while you dedicate the time to bring your creative vision to life? I've got good news for you. Greetings everyone, welcome to the underground lair where we bring our creations to life. I'm Scott with Cirqueworks Art Labs. I'm a professional illustrator, designer, and mad creator. And one of the things that I'm passionate about is creating comics. But anyone who's ever created comics knows that comics are hard. They are very time consuming. A lot goes into creating a comic, especially if you are the sole creator. If you're an independent creator and you're doing everything from the writing, the, the penciling, the inking, the lettering, everything that goes along with the comics, it is pretty time intensive. And as a independent comic creator, self-publisher, I know full well how difficult that is. And it would be really nice if there was someone or, or some sort of organization that could help fund that project that you wanna create. So you're not have to worry about, okay, if I'm gonna dedicate all this time to creating my comic, how am I gonna pay my bills and things like that? So this may seem like a pipe dream. Back in the day, there was a solution to this dilemma and it was known as the Zurich Foundation. And they would issue grants that would help creators produce their independent comic creations. It was started by Peter Laird of Eastman and Laird, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle fame, who one of the most successful, one of the one of the two most successful, I mean there's more, but those two, Eastman and Laird, probably the most successful independent you know publishers of comics in probably history and I you know he wanted to give back so he set up this foundation so back from 1992 to uh, 2012 I think was when it kind of all you know came to an end they would issue grants a decent sum of money that were given to a number of creators to help them create their projects. Uh, my friend Joshua Kimball, who I host the Artcasters with, he's the author of this book, uh, Two Stories, which is an auto bio story. He's working on the second issue of this um, collection, I should say. It's not an issue, it's a, it's a graphic novel. Um, he also has, this is the book right now, that this was his second book, which he's recently, uh, is recently going to print. It kind of sat there for a little bit, but this one, it's full color. It's, I think it's his first, one of his first full color books, um, but he was one of the recipients of the Zero Grant. Uh, I forgot what year he got it, and, and throughout, I think each year they would give it to maybe anywhere from like four to six, maybe even seven creators. He was one of the recipients, and he was able to create his first comic book story, Numb, which I don't have with me, but you can read it on his website. I will put a link where you can get all of this stuff. Definitely pre-order Josh's new book, Jacob's Apartment. Um, but. You know, so there were so many creators that were given this opportunity and many of them uh, became artists of quite a bit of notoriety. I mean, they're, they're some of the more well-respected independent comic creators that you may have heard of. Um, you can go online, you can look a look, there's a list of all the recipients and you will definitely, if you are a fan of, especially indie comics, you're gonna know some of these names. Um, so, and it, it can be, that type of thing can be life-changing because not only do you get the, the opportunity to maybe step away from some of the other things and, and you know, put some, take some of that, that, that money that you're getting as a grant. And as a grant, it's not anything you have to pay back. And the good thing is it's not, it's, it's still owned by you. It's your creation. Um, and it's, that's, really a cool thing so uh, you know eventually uh, Peter Laird they he kind of they stopped doing it because at that point things like there were other opportunities for artists there were things like Kickstarter and Patreon so I think he felt that you know whereas before if you were an independent creator you really didn't have a whole lot of options so he kind of spearheaded that and um, it was a really cool thing and like I said now we do have things like Kickstarter and Patreon but it's not always that easy especially for somebody just starting out to just put up a Patreon or a Kickstarter and expecting people to, to come to you. Um, even
even if you have the best idea. So for a while, there wasn't really an option until now. There is a new organization that recently formed called Creators for Creators. It's a 501c nonprofit organization started by Image Comics and Iron Circus Comics. If you're familiar with Spike Troutman, another very um, successful self-publisher, she started this uh, th that company and and it's I I really do think it kind of it's it mimics so much of the Zero Grant where you've got somebody that's done really well self-publishing partners you know and of course. Image Comics, although they, they came from sort of some fame and fortune to begin with, but they kind of went on their own and, you know, started independent comics. And if you know me, you know I'm an independent comic guy. I mean, and, but anyway, they're, they are, they are giving a, a grant. This is the first one, and I'm hoping that it's going to grow, and because it's, it's only, I think it's for just one artist or creative team. Creators for Creators is issuing a $30,000 grant for either a single creator or a, a, a team, whether it's a writer and an artist, for an original idea for a comic book. I think it has to be 64 to 100 pages. Um, but that will allow you, if, you're, if you are the recipient of this grant, that will allow you the wherewithal to create your project. I mean, and that is just a really cool thing. And I hope right now it's just, I think it's just one, one person will be selected or one team. And But I'm hoping that like the Xeric grant, it's gonna grow and they're going to be able to offer that, you know, those to other, to more, you know, comic creators, independent comic creators. It's just a really cool thing and I'm glad that somebody else is doing that because there was sort of that gap for the longest time where we didn't have that Zarek Foundation. And it's really cool that there's a way for you to earn money to create your own comic. Now you may say, well, you work for Marvel or DC, they'll pay you to create comics. Sure, but but the thing with this is you own this comic. This is your comic. And even though it's you know Iron Circus Comics and Image Comics, if you decide that that might not be the best fit for you as far as publishing it, it doesn't matter. I mean, you own that. You can take it wherever you want. Say if Scholastic maybe is interested, you want to go that route, young adult, whatever it is that they, you know, they aren't, you aren't bound to use them to print that. However, if you don't have a publisher, they have committed to either one of these companies or both in conjunction, I don't know how that all works, but to print your comic. And, you know, that is really cool because finding a publisher, getting it out there, that's amazing. And not only that, but it also includes just a mentorship, working with these successful self-publishers to help you along. I mean, this is just huge for independent comic creators. And honestly, as a self-publisher myself, I would definitely jump on this, but unfortunately because this isn't a new idea, I've been working with my comic for a while and I'm working on another issue, I'm not really eligible, but you definitely go online, I'm going to put the information on there, go and see if you are eligible, make sure that you read through everything, all the submission guidelines and follow them to a T, that's one thing a lot of people don't do. Um, if you want some tips on, because you are you're, you don't have to present the, the full comic, I mean this, this whole grant is designed to allow you to create that book but you have to have the idea it has to be solid and you're gonna have to wow them because you are gonna be up against a lot of other people but like I said hopefully they will cont continue to do this give other people opportunity throughout the years to come and maybe more people but I wouldn't hesitate to submit something because you never know I mean Josh probably thought the same thing well, I know he has because I've talked to him he didn't you know he didn't think he had any chance when he submitted it but then he got that zero grant and this is this is very much a very similar situation so if you've got a great idea go look at the submission guidelines and submit it you've got I think actually there was an original deadline that would have just ended like last week however they've extended that so I think you have till May 31st 2022 to to make your submission and then if you're watching this later still go and check because this may be something they offer in the future or future years to come um, but definitely you know I've done a video I just did a video on and um preparing like a pitch Bible and you know or, or elevator pitch a lot of that information might help you a lot with you know getting your pitch right so when you do pitch to uh, creators for creators um, so check out the information really I'm just excited that this thing exists and I would encourage everyone give it a shot you never know and at the very least you come up with your idea and if it's not chosen 
at least you got that idea down and you can start creating it yourself and by the time maybe you get a little further along and maybe next year you'll have another opportunity to apply for this awesome grant anyway check out the information for creators for creators that grant I definitely would you know encourage you to apply for that grant and also check out Josh's stuff like I said his new book Jacob's apartment is for pre-order right now it's coming out pretty soon definitely check that out or any of his other books and read his Zurich award-winning uh, comic book numb on his website uh, I'll put all that information in the description let me know what do you think about this do you all know of any other opportunities like this for artists share that in the comment section I will see you guys later that is all hey thanks for watching if you like what you saw and you want to see more hit that subscribe button also you can follow me at Circworks on social media and now you can support the work that I do on patreon if you like making comics then go to surfworks.com and pick up the comic maker starter kit it's packed full of fonts brushes templates and more and best of all it's totally free